Uh, this is Roy Jamshed and today we're going to discuss a very important topic that is how to calculate the warehouse space. I request all of you to listen to till the end of this uh, video because when you, have, when you finish this video you got a good idea and you got a good concept that how to calculate the warehouse space. So please request it again to you to you know watch all the videos so you can get some knowledge. And when your videos will be finished, I think you will have some basic concepts to calculate the warehouse space. Okay, here we go. Like warehouse should be taken from three to five years minimum. The reason is that if you because you know shifting a warehouse from a location to the B, B warehouse, B location warehouse. So it, this is a one is a transportation expense. Second is is like infrastructure expenses, then negotiation expenses, then legal expenses you can have if you're gonna go for a legal contract to lease a warehouse. So uh, other thing is that whenever you're considering the warehouse uh, space, like. You need to consider either you want to place the inventory in the fixed locations or you want to place the inventory in the random locations. Fixed locations means like you have the A model that, um, a model that will be placed in a certain row that is physically allocated for that model. Uh, you have an other row that is physically allocated to model B. So you cannot put the a model in the b row so this 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 is not and the case here so you need to be disciplined in that and the second one is the random you know storage this is very haphazard like you you your a model is coming then your b model and then c model is coming from the factory or from other warehouses to your warehouse so you need to uh you you just uh, randomly place things so you need very less space but again it's very complicated to operate such warehouses because you know your inventory location you don't know so you, you can't how can you know how can you pick the stock and uh, ship so it's very difficult so here uh, so hope again request to you watch so uh, here we're gonna get the basic concept like how will we calculate the warehouse space so technically we should have like three to five years of sales for cost if you have a monthly sale for cost then convert it into on the daily uh, sale for cost by dividing the number of working days uh, like for example you have like 2000 units that will that will be sold in january 2022 so you divide it by 20 working days for example and you get like 100 uh, units per day sales so for three years, we, if you look at the data for 2022 to 2024, we need to uh, figure out which is the highest sale per month of a certain year. That is 242 units in the month of June 2024. So again, based on the policy, which may vary from industry to industry, for example, policy is to maintain the 10 days inventory. For example, if you have a company have a policy to make the 10 days inventory, so you just multiply by 242 multiply by 10, like you have 2420 units inventory you need to take. So there's now two things. One is the maximum inventory, one is the minimum inventory. So minimum inventory is like when you add the 10 days sales inventory level plus the safety stock, 3 days safety stock. Safety stock is that stock which you uh, hold uh, to address the fluctuations in the demand. There may be more sales and you need, uh, there may be uncertainty, some, you know, suddenly the demands uh, generate and you need to have some extra stock. So this is the, the, the minimum stock, like point number uh, Five is the minimum stock that is, you know, uh, 10 days inventory plus three days safety stock. Then we 240, 24, 20 plus 726, 3142 units. Maximum stock, maximum inventory, you know, only the difference between the minimum and maximum is that in the maximum we also uh, takes the uh, the transit stock inventory. Like transit stock inventory, is it like it takes like two days to uh, from the production to reach uh, uh, the stock to the warehouse 
so you add these two days inventory and you will have like 3630 maximum inventory so you go for the average inventory that will be maximum plus minimum inventory 3142 plus 3630 divided by 2 is double 3 double 8 disk inventory based on that inventory you are gonna calculate your warehouse space and we are so we will it will take like five simple steps to calculate the uh, required space of a warehouse uh, based on the three year sale forecast or five year sale forecast whatever it is like first we assume that the product is microwave oven having dimensions length depth our length is the same thing 0.52 meters width is 0.42 meters height is 0.31 meters and the volume we multiply three of them and the volume is 0 0.07 so the total quantity we have double three double eight we multiply it by 0 0.7 uh, the total volume required is 2020 uh, 229.5 cubic meter so on the other side we have the volume of the uh, pallet like it's 1.2 meter uh, depth or length one meter width and 1.5 meter height so we we'll multiply it it is 1.8 cubic meter so number of pallets we require is in the number four like we divide this by 229.5 divided by 1.8 uh, that is we require 127.4 pallets so uh, there may be 26 uh, units placed on a pallet and there may be partial pallets so we we, we have add the margin of 10 percent uh, then we multiply it 124.127.4 127.4 multiplied by 1.10 then 140 pallets we require so we round the figure to 140 pallets uh, second now the second step is to determine the raw space footprint In, here we're going to talk about the square meter instead of the volume cubic meter would we just go for the raw uh, space footprint only the that is the space so area that means when we multiply length by width that means the area like area of the single pallet is 1.2 meter square and the number of pallet is 140 so raw space is only like multiplication of uh, 140 multiplied by 1.2 so we need 168 uh, meter, square meter area raw space footprint so here we go for the third, third step so step number three a factor in the space for the inventory movement material handling equipment human movement so there is a lot of space other than the raw footprint required uh, for per movement of inventory uh, equipments and you have to pick the stock and you have to uh, consult you need a consolidation area where you mix the stock and then you have the shipment area then where you dispatch the stock physically so there's a lot of area required so at least the the actual the, the total space required should be three multiplier of three of the raw foot print required so the double area of this raw uh, footprint you require for all these activities uh, inventory movement and other material handling equipment and consolidations and and stock picking and for dispatch all this stuff you need a lot of space this should be minimum multiplier of three remember this one it should not be less than that otherwise your you cannot store your inventory properly other if you have fixed locations it can be more but it should be minimum up to three times of the raw footprint so step number four is to count for the vertical space utilizations you know as there is more vertical space utilized the total space required for the warehouse is reduced so we need to consider the vertical space utilization limit like for example if we can stack the uh, the pallets of the microwave oven we can have the two stacking you know one pallet will be placed on another pallet so there we are allowed to maximum utilize the two stacking of the uh, pallets uh, having the 
microwave oven boxes so here we're gonna divide five zero four square meter by two and we get like net space of 252 square feet now here we go for the next step that is the final one and after that you will be an idea how to calculate the various this number step number five add some expansion or access space so it's the part of the company policy to uh, add some space for some uncertainty like uh, change in the targets increase in the variety uh, change in the dimensions of model and uh, company needs to consider these things uh, to be on the safe side uh, the company make the policy that uh, there should be some extra space so the companies uh, uh, make policy certain percentage of the space will be utilized like company used 80 percent of the space uh, as the part of its policy uh, this vary from the company to company so here we consider like we use the 80 percent of the space and now we divide 252 square uh, meter by 0.8 or 80 percent uh, so we need the like uh, target space 315 square meter space we required so here you know all of you have you know got the idea how to calculate the warehouse space thank you this number step number five add some expansion or access space so it's the part of the company policy to uh, add some space for some uncertainty like uh, change in the targets increase in the variety uh, change in the dimensions of model and uh, company needs to consider these things uh, to be on the safe side uh, the company make the policy that uh, there should be some extra space so the companies uh, uh, make policy certain percentage of the space will be utilized like company used 80 percent of the space uh, as the part of its policy uh, this vary from the company to company so here we consider like we use the 80 percent of the space and now we divide 252 square uh, meter by 0.8 or 80 percent uh, so we need the like uh, target space 315 square meter space we required so here you know all of you have you know got the idea how to calculate the warehouse space thank you